Hello everyone, so I'm going to show you how to do the setup. So we have explained to you everything you need for uh, to set up your own. So if you look here, we have the azolla seeds. So you will need the seeds you will get from the farmer. So we have the azolla seeds. Uh, here we have uh, the compost. So here we are using a well decomposed cow manure for this that we are going to use for the demonstration. You also need the soil uh, for that. So, and then you also need water. So there's water here. And as explained, you need somewhere you can hold your water. So we have, um, this is a drum that is cut into half. This is an example of a bucket that you can use, cut into half. Uh, no, um, uh, jerry can. And then this is an example of a bucket. Uh, you can also use the basins as explained. So once you have everything, you can also use a pond if you're using a pond. But we are going to demonstrate using this because we are not use, uh, use doing the pond. But we'll show you the pond that is there. So once you have your pond, your jerry can or whatever you want to use, then the next thing is the procedure you're going to use on planting your azolla. So the first thing you're going to use, if you're using a pond, you ensure that the pond is well labeled and then you lay the dam liner. You ensure that there are no rocks that can make holes on the pond. So in this case, we are going to use the half cut uh, drum and uh, the container. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to take your compost so the quantity of the compost will depend with the size of your pond so if you are using a pond of two meters by one meter then you do 20 liter uh, can or 20 liter bucket so in this case we are going to take our compost and spread well in our container so we just spread it well so in this case we have used uh, for this demonstration we're using a quarter of uh, the bucket so once you put like that you have to spread it well if they are bigger ones you have to remove them so once you spread well that is the compost you've used you can use chicken manure you can use rabbit manure but the best would be the cow manure or the slurry the cow slurry the next thing is we are now going to use our soil so we're going to use just one spade of the soil we also spread uh, the soil we just spread like that after spreading the next thing is to mix you mix well the mixture if there are other things like the leaves you love to remove them so if you look at uh, this uh, compost it now looks more like the soil because the soil has been mixed with it and then once you've done this the third thing is now to put your water so we're just going to fill this with water This is not enough so I'll probably add another bucket of water so that uh, the water level should be at least 20 centimeters deep so this is uh, less than 15 centimeters so I'll add more
so I'm adding another uh, jerry can of water another jerry can of water so this is a uh, good level enough although we might need to add another level on top of this so once you've added like this if there are any debris on top of the water uh, like sticks and anything you remove them but as you can see here there are no other debris but if you if you do down like this you'll see the there's still the compost and there's still the soil uh, which we put so this water will look dirty or it will look duckish because the nutrients will be from the compost will be here the main use of the compost is to add nutrients the soil mostly is to absorb the nitrogen that the azola get from the air so once this is done now it is time to plant our azola so we will take uh, like one one of the the azolas that we have so for example in this case uh, for this you need even less than a quarter for one of these so one kilo can do around five to eight of these containers so i'm going to take this one and then what you do is just simple just take it and spread it on top of the pond just take it and spread it on top of the pond just like that once it gets to this level this is enough you've just finished your planting whether it is on the pond whether it is on a container like this even if we were using this kind of a container it would still be the same process so once you do like this then you have to wait for 10 to 14 days 10 to 14 days your azola will have spread on your containers or in your ponds so after so that period we say it colonizes the pond it colonizes wherever you're putting it so once it colonizes, you can now harvest either daily or weekly basis so if you are harvesting daily it will be small quantities but if you are harvesting weekly it would be large quantities at once so for example daily you would be harvesting maybe half a kilo but for a week you'd be doing like 10 kilos for example but you know the quantity will depend with the size of your pond and everything so this is how you you are when you're planting and then it will go it will go so i'm going to show you uh, how it will look at the time you finished uh, the pond so that i'm just going to add more so that the whole of this water will be covered by this azola and that is the the now would be the right time for you to harvest so if you come to your pond and find that your pond is fully covered with the azola like this then you know it is the right time to harvest your your azola now so thank you so much we'll show you the other videos like harvesting and all that